color and this material. Now open the content browser. Right click, take a new folder. Open it and right click a create blueprint of actor. Name it and open it. In components, add an cube. Adjust it. Now go to event graph. From event begin play take. This delay. From delay take. Set collision enable. Cube. And from here take set a hidden in game. In here tick on. Now uh, connect this to cube and copy this fold and paste it here down. Connect this to delay. And in here, new type take collision enable. Now in here, right click promote to variable. And in here, also right click promote to variable. Names are select this here in here. Take up name it start delay and select this in here. Name return delay. Compile select the return delay. Keep it to and select the start delay. Four. Compile it. Now copy this to and paste it here. Now connect this to delay. Person map drag and drop this blueprint and take to now select one of this in details in return delay take five and start delay take seven. Name it and open it. In here, blend mode, take mask color. Pick on two sides. And here, take plane. Now, in here, press 3. Uh, right click, convert to parameter. Take any color. Second parameter, name it bright color. Take and multiply. Connect this to multiply A and connect this to multiply B. Now in here, right click, take and sign. From sign, take add. Here, right click, take radial grand explosion. Connect 
connect this to add format take time time with the speed variable take a parameter name it time with speed and its value is 0.25 connect this to speed now in here take and multiply from a take time take and parameter name it time speed connect this to multiply and connect the multiply to time with speed variable now right click on radius promoter variable and again right click on density promoter variable a uh, radius value is 1 and density value is 2 Now here select the sign. Um, in here take uh, its value is point one. Now take a uh, two radial grant explosion. Take a parameter name it uh, mask radius. and copy this name now take an another parameter name it mask to radius or any name and its value is 0.55 and this value is 0.2 connect this to radius and this to radius your take subtract connect this to subtract b take two multiplies connect this multiply to here and sign to here connect this multiply to emissive color now connect the subtract to multiply and sign to multiply connect this to opacity mask and the bright color value is a 50 or 20 20 is better apply and create instance now uh in here tick off the two sides as an instance tick on all the variables and you can adjust the instance now save go to disappear blue print and here apply the material to cube oh there is a problem um um okay now in here add plane Delete the cube. Select the uh, go to event graph. Now drag and drop the plane in here. Connect this to here and this here. Same to here. Take the plane. 
connect here and here. Now go to viewport. Uh, in here, select this. Open content browser. Apply this material to it. Save. Go to third person map. Another type. First, we are making material. Create a material. Name it. And open it. Now, in blend mode, take transparency. And here down. Uh, yes, here. In lighting mode, take surface transparency volume. Now, in here, press 3. Take any color okay now take a parameter name it bright its value is uh, leave it take and multiply connect this both to multiply now Connect this to base color. Multiply to emissive color. Now here, press 1. Connect this to roughness. Its value is 0.9. Now, take a parameter. Name it opacity. Connect this to opacity. Its value is 1. Apply and open content browser. In here, right click blueprint class actor, name it and open it. Now, in components, add a cube, adjust it. Again, add a box collision. Uh, adjust it to cover the cube. Now compile. Oh, now drag and drop this on cube. Now go to event graph. In here. Drag and drop the cube. From cube, take create a dynamic material instance. Connect this to here and in here. Uh, select the material and right click on it. Promote to variable, name it uh, dynamic material. From here, take such scalar parameter value. Now, we parameter name take the take bright. Now right click on box, add event to take on component begin overlap. And here copy this and uh, uh, drag and drop the dynamic material and connect this to target the value is uh, Now connect this to here. From here take a sequence. From here take a and timeline. Open the length is one. Now add a track, add flow track. In here, right click, add key, time is 0, 
value is 1 and right click add and key time is 0.5 value is 1 and in here click on this right click add and key time is uh, 1 value is 0 and here uh, select this 2 right click tick on auto now go to event graph now uh, copy this here Connect this here and connect the new track to value and in parameter name take opacity from then take delay now delay value is 1 from delay take destroy actors now compile it's not compiling. Now drag and drop this dynamic material in here to Taga. Compile and in the viewport select the cube and apply the material. Compile, go to third person map. There are two types of disappears. One is complete disappear and another one is disappear and reappear and thank you for watching Siri Gaming channel. Don't forget to subscribe it.